Hey everybody, it's me Lamika. Um gonna do a try to do a quick video for you today. Today is Monday. I am actually in the process of you know packing, putting well, I don't have to pack my husband's stuff now because you know he told me this morning. I think I'm over wearing jeans. I'm like, what? <laughs> I pack your own damn bag, okay? I mean, like, really. So, I packed my clothes and just need to pack a few more things, but I'll pack, you know, everything else probably in the morning right before we leave because uh, we're going to Ohio for the holidays. We're leaving tomorrow morning. But anyway, I wanted to do a quick video and update you guys on some things. So, this video is all about pink bow ties. If you've never purchased my stamps before, you need to get on it. And you especially need to get on this new one that I'm about to show you. Um, I am doing a giveaway for anyone that has purchased through my website. Again, you have had to purchase through my website. Um, if you didn't uh, purchase through the website, then you will not be considered one of the people entered into win $25 or the $15 prize or the $10 prize. Um, once again, the $25 prize will either be a gift card or it'll be $25 in your PayPal account that you can spend on whatever you want to spend on. It's my gift back to my customers for Christmas saying thank you for supporting me. And same thing with the $15 and the $10. Um, as far as the gift cards are concerned, your choice is Michael's or Hobby Lobby. Or, again, you can, you know, have it go into your PayPal. So, with that being said, let's get started. So, um, here is the stamp set. And, you know, this is my own copy, of course. And let me get a piece of paper. So that you're able to see it. I hope that will be good enough. Alright, so this is the stamp. And it is called Soulful Sunday. Um, my two people that collaborated with me are Christine of Kjoy Creations and Agatha. So, um, this is Christine's, you know, her penmanship here and with these right here. Um, I really like what she did. I, um, put it all together and this is what we came up with. And then Agatha, she, um, did my illustrations for me as far as, you know, with the church and with the cross. I was really trying to get two images on there that, you know, you can definitely color. Um, as everybody know, I am deep into <gasps> Copics <laughs> right now. So that's my thing and I won't my stamps to be a reflection of what I'm into at the moment. Um, so I'll read these to you if you can't see them in the video. I'm so sorry. God is good all the time. You know that's something that especially us black people be saying a lot. So that has to be on there. Jesus be a fence. There's a song for it. And then of course, you know, that's what we say. Uh, I included the sentiment here that says faith tells us that no matter what lies ahead of us, God is already there. And I think that is a good sentiment for any occasion. Uh, sorry, any occasion. Amen. And then a hashtag Sunday best because those of us that do go to church on Sundays, I mean, even Easter or Christmas, I mean, you wearing your Sunday best, you know. And then Bedside Baptist got his idea from Jennifer. I went to a crop with her, and she had mentioned something about Bedside Baptist. At first, I didn't know what she meant. But Bedside Baptist is basically a person that doesn't go to a physical church. They lay in bed, or they stay at home and watch church through TV. So you're a Bedside Baptist. And then with Deepest Sympathies, and I included two praying hands that look like this, and you'll be able to see them you know, um, on the stamp set. So let me put my hands out here. You know, look, just like that. And then, blessed and highly favored. Mark Dunty was over here uh, last week, and she was up here for um, Tuesday up until Sunday to see uh, her sister. And I said, well, how you doing? And you know what she said? This right here. Honey, I'm blessed 
and highly favored. That's exactly what she said to me. Oh my gosh. And then I included, of course, a, a cross here, you know, with some flowers on it that can be colored. And um, I would show you, I, I can show you what I made with this. And then, won't he do it? You know, we're always saying that. And it's small enough that you can use this if you're doing, you know, your pocket page scrapbooking and add that on there. But, I mean, what, what can you say? Soulful Sunday, right? Love this stamp set. So, I'm also today going to show you a few cards that I made with it. Let me grab the other card because it's over here. Now, I made a total of four cards, but... Um, two of them I ended up sending away to my mom. So, here's one card that I made. And, um, the cross that I colored with my Copics. And I made the flowers purple. And then I just stamped the blessed and highly favored. Not a huge, I mean, this card is very simple. But, um, I'm going to send it to his aunt because she saves this all the time. You know, and she'll love that. And then the second card, well, this was like the, by the time I got finished making the card, this was my fourth card. But my girlfriend, Kavandra, gave me the idea of putting one of the greetings uh, farm stamps on here. I call her Olivia, but she does have another name. And I think it's Anya or something. And so, um, I caught myself trying to do a little grass here in the background. And that actually comes up right there. And then I took this speech bubble that someone sent me. It is a chipboard. I popped it up on some pop dots and I stamped the blessed and highly favored on here. And I've gotten so many, um, I'm sorry, let me put that in camera shot so you can see it. I've gotten so many uh, compliments on this, this card. I mean, it is. it really was one of my favorite and on top of that, I've definitely gotten a lot of compliments on the church. Matter of fact, one of the compliments that I got when I posted this in one of these groups, the card that I created. And I didn't put, you know, uh, anything on there. I didn't say anything about my business. I just wanted to see the review of what people thought. One lady asked me, where did you get that that church stamp from? What company made that? I'm going to tell you. I was very happy when I told her, oh, I got that from Pink Bow Ties. I am the owner. Oh, my God. I was, it was just so, so, so cute. So anyway, those are the two stamps, I mean, two cards that I did make from this stamp. And as you can see, the detail of that cross in there, you can really, really see it. I'm sorry. I'm trying to look at my phone and look at this at the same time. So that cross, like I said, is really small but it is in that stamp honey okay you ain't gonna go you 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 gonna get that so anyway let me move on so i said you know what i'm gonna try to do a tutorial for you guys right here on the camera and i'm going to use one of the uh sentiments from this stamp actually i'm going to stamp with this one right here with deepest sympathies i haven't used it i've used across the church and the amen, but I have not, and the blessing house favor. I have not used this one, so I'm going to use that today and do a tutorial. Um, my friend that I'm going to go see this week, or our friends, lost their dog just the other day. Um, and it was a small dog. I, I, I think I can't think of the name of the dog right now, what breed it is. But it's one of those little cute dogs, you know what I'm saying, and um. So, I'm going to now make a card and show you what I did. Now, don't ask me about measurements and ask me all that stuff. Just know that this is a five by six and a half card. That's the size of it. And sorry that this makes noise, but it does. I like to get a lot of my... ATG onto my car and um some people ask me how do I refill this I'll do a video on that at some other time but I'm pretty sure you can find that child online somewhere and so I'm going to layer this let me get out the camera a little bit so I can be able to see 
actually let me stand up so I can make sure I'm layering this right I don't do nothing special when I'm making my cards see it's it's, it's kind of off right there but you know what guess what it'll work <laughs> Then I cut out a paw from my Silhouette Cameo. I'm going to take this off of here now so you can see everything. And all the paper that I use here, this one is by Stampin' Up! And these two are by Recollections from uh, Michaels. Recollections, I buy a lot of that because it cuts like butter for me through my cameo. I don't have any issues with it at all. So what we're going to do is we're going to layer this. I'm going to use this right quick. I wonder if I should make this pop up. But you know what? I've already decided to do it like this. And so let me see. With deepest sympathies, I'll put that at the bottom. So let me get this. And I might not be in the camera, but I'll be in the camera soon enough. This is my first time doing a tutorial actually like this on video. If you guys like this, please let me know. Uh, you know I don't have my thumbs up and thumbs down crap. Because there's too many haters. Let me get some glue. Too many haters on uh, Facebook. You know, instead of just... If you don't like something, you don't have to give it a thumbs down. You know, people take the time out to make videos. They don't need that negativity in their life. So I'm using that Tombow glue. If you guys seen that, if you use that to uh, put these little parts in here for the paws. Okay, just put a little bit of glue on, and you know this dries, oops, clear. It doesn't take that much either, to be honest with you. That's what I hate wearing, sometimes I hate wearing um, nails, it's because of that. This one, I'm going to use this. If somebody could tell me how to get this from making so much squiggly noise, I would have really appreciated it. Alright. Put that there. Real easy card. This is my first time cutting out different pieces for a card as well. So that is new for me. But it worked. I did it. You know, like they always say, you can be scared of something, but honey... If you just do it, you just never know. Same thing like with my business. I didn't think it would be the way it is, but you know, it really is really turning out to be something really special. Okay, so that's that. Now, let me go ahead and stamp this sentiment with this stamp. So I have some paper right here. I'm just going to use white and I'm going to put the with deepest sympathies right there in black and white. I'm not going to do anything special. Let's see. Yep, that fits right there. So, and I might put that uh, sentiment on the inside as well, but I doubt it. And then on the inside, I tend to write stuff out i'm thinking about coming out with a stamp set though where it has some sentiments already ready for you and you can stamp them on the inside i know i'm not the first person to do it so i'm not you know trying to take credit at. with any stamp and i know one of my girlfriends asked me because she's never stamped before you take the end of your pencil and all you do is erase the film and you can get a good Cool, you, uh, you know a good stamp impression and that's what I do with all my clear stamps okay then I just take my hand over it right quick I am going to press it 
inside the ink and I should be able to get a good impression here. And I'm going to stamp it down right there. One, two, three, lift. And there you go. See? Now I'm going to add this on here at the bottom. Let me just cut this real quick. My stepping up trimmer and I'm going to um, ink my edges just a tad bit here with my Tim Holtz distress ink vintage photo it's one of my favorites. I don't have a lot of his inks, but um, I do like this. What's one of my girls say? Adds texture or something or dimensions to your projects. I don't know, but it breaks it up. It breaks it up in my point. In my case, that's how I see it. And I like to try to put my stuff back once I'm done with it take my baby wipes because I have to clean my stamps afterwards. I don't know about you, but that's just what I do. Take some baby wipes and just clean the ink off of it. And of course, I like to stick it right back in the package, upside down, and bam, I'm done with that, you know? Okay, so let's put this on here. in a second. Right. I know sometimes I can be OCD. <laughs> okay, so now that that's done, let me step off to the side right here and just put a little of this on here. I love my APG gun. I think it's the best thing since sliced bread. Sliced bread. Okay, and I'm going to just Put this here. So that is my card, to be honest with you. And then the inside, I'm just going to write something in here. And matter of fact, I'll probably do it while I'm on camera with you guys. So I'll put her name on there. Her husband, I call him El Monte. AJ and Corey, her daughter. Just wanted to say. We are sorry to hear about Moses, we love you. And I'm taking this with me when I go down there. Love, Mark, and Mika. I like to always date the year. And this is November. And that's it. That is my tutorial, baby. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. And it's almost 20 minutes, I'm sorry, but that's the card. And so, hey, that's it. Gonna stick that sucker in here. I got this by Ed uh, Michaels, and um, I'm done. So anyway, I hope that you guys love this stamp set as much as I do. Um, it is one of my babies, of course, and I am today going to order these so that I can have them in the shop and ready to be sold once I get back and again if you've ever purchased from me in the past whatever you have purchased will be a part of the giveaway if you purchase three stamps four stamps one stamp you will be entered in the giveaway to win the prize and 
um, I will include any purchases with of this stamp for that giveaway as well. So the giveaway will probably be um, done. Probably I will. I'll let you know because I'm probably going to do the giveaway. It'll probably run all up until all of all of December, and then I'll put the prizes out there in January. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, but if these get sold out before then, we'll just do the giveaway a lot quicker. And I do have just only a few more. Only a few more. Maybe only two of the sorority stamps left. Two social medias. And I do have, I think I have five or six of the mind types still left uh, in inventory. So anyway, thanks for watching. Sorry it took so long. Bye. Have a good, happy holidays. And happy Thanksgiving to everybody out there. Bye-bye.